I want to talk to you guys today about goal setting and intention setting, strategy setting, strategy development. Hopefully the banging that you hear in the background will not translate into this video because I really want to get this information out to you as soon as possible. Before we talk about goal setting, I want you to understand what goal setting actually is. And what it basically means is that you are reflecting on that upon which you want to create in your life. And after you do some reflection upon what you want to align with, then you start to set a strategy in order to obtain the things that you really want out of life. In my practice as a personal mastery coach, goal setting is very important when I'm working with my clients because I wanna teach them not only how to identify the goals that they wanna achieve, but also the actions and the strategies that they need to put in place to actually achieve the goals. So they're not just stuck in the goal setting mode, but they are actually crossing things off their list that they want to accomplish. And it's not even enough to want to set those goals, to align with those goals, to align with your purpose and all those type of things. What you also really need to learn how to do and what I help my clients do is to learn how to monitor those goals, monitor their progress so that they know very easily and very quickly if they're moving in the right direction so that they can learn how to quickly check and adjust if they have gotten off track a little bit and recognize when they are on the right track. Goals are also important if you're on the right track because you can start to set goals around getting better and better which is what personal mastery really stands for. It's just getting better and better every day, reaching your highest potential every day. And so I also help with that. And I also believe that once you knock some goals off your list, you don't stop there. You continue to set more goals. But like I said, you're evolving, you're growing, you're moving faster toward the things that you wanna manifest. And you're also getting better and better at attracting bigger and better things into your life via goal setting. So let's get into some more strategies that can help you. So goal setting helps you not only anticipate where you want to be in life, but also create strategies and systems for what you wanna accomplish in life so that you're able to finally accomplish the things that you say that you want in life. And like I said, continuously reach higher and higher potential in life. And the reason why goal setting is very integral to this process is because goal Goals help you drive your internal motivation. So that's a key right there. Goals help you tap into that internal motivation that is needed in order to align with the desired outcome. Also, if you set your goals correctly, what they will do is help you to prioritize your action and prioritize the things that you need to focus on. So you're not diffusing your energy across all different systems, but you're really putting your focus, your intention behind the things that you really want to manifest in your life, the things that you really want to achieve in your life. So if you find that you struggle with achieving your goals or even setting goals, I have some strategies that I want to go over in order for you to become more successful with goal setting. I think I have about six or seven tips. They're very good tips. So make sure you grab a pen and paper or you come back and you watch this later and really take some notes because I don't want you to miss out on anything that I have to say. The first thing I want to go over with you is that you need to make your goals specific. A lot of times when I talk to people about if they are accomplishing their desired results and they say, no, I'm trying, but I'm not getting anywhere. And I ask specifically what they're doing or what they're after. They don't have clear targets and they also don't have a really specific goal or really specific actions. And so that is oftentimes, that's probably the number one thing that I notice when I'm working with clients is they don't set specific goals. Saying that you're gonna try to do something is not a goal. And also saying that you are gonna do your best to accomplish something is also not a goal. Specificity is one of the number one things that is going to help you stay aligned toward a targeted outcome that you want for your life. The reason why this is powerful is because when you make your goal specific, they give you a clear blueprint of the actions that you need to take 
to move systematically towards your desired target. Being specific can also help you look at the actions that you are taking on the day to day to see if you are in alignment with the things that you want to manifest into your life. And if you're not, you're easily able to see where you need to tweak, where you need to adjust in order to meet the targets that you want to meet. Number two, a lot of times when we don't accomplish the things that we want to accomplish is because we're looking at the really big goal and instead of breaking it down into smaller, more bite-sized chunks. I like to teach my clients to think of their big goals as their dream or their vision, and then to break that down systematically into smaller goals. And those smaller goals are more short-term short goals. Studies show that people are more apt to complete a goal, to reach their goals when they break it down into little smaller subcategories of goals. So that is my number one tip for that. Another thing that studies show is that when you break your larger goals down into smaller goals, what happens is that you also build self-confidence and you also build self efficacy, which is the belief in yourself that you are able to accomplish something because as it's easier for you to cross things off your list, you build more confidence. As you build more confidence, you realize that you have the power and the ability to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. So it's like this positive cycle that you enact just by breaking your goals down into smaller bite-sized chunks. You also should pick goals that are in like a mid range of difficulty. You don't want your goals to be too easy, but you also don't want them to be too hard. Research shows that if you pick goals that are too easy, either you'll do them and you will knock them off your list and it won't really get you where you want to be in life or you won't take it serious. And if they're too hard, you could get a little bit discouraged. And when you're discouraged, you tend not to follow through on the things that you say you're going to do. And so a good range that you want to be in when you're setting goals is to set mid range goals. Here's the big one for this fourth tip. This is a big, big one. You must set your own goals, not your mom, not your dad, not your boyfriend, not your lover, not your husband, not society. I did a whole podcast about this. If you want to go back and you want to check past episodes while I do help my clients learn proper goal setting techniques and learn how to set strategy, learn how to align them with their vision after they have gotten rid of the past and started to rewrite their future. I do not set their goal in order for you to be successful at accomplishing your goals. You have to set your own goals. You have to know what it is that you want. So that is why in my philosophy and my framework, I teach that goal setting is a combination of self-reflection and intention setting. You have to do both of those together in order to really understand what it is that you want, what it is that you intend before you can then pick the strategy upon which you're going to build in order to accomplish those goals. So that's what I help clients out with. And if you find that you're struggling with goal setting, this is maybe a key factor that you may need to build into your system as well. If you are like, say a pro at working on many different goals at one time, then by all means do so. But if you find yourself to be a person that sets goals and you don't accomplish them, or you find yourself to get overwhelmed when you see a whole list of goals, or you just find yourself to be a beginner at goal setting, I do not recommend that you set a whole bunch of goals. I always start my clients off with a set of three goals through my proven system where they set goals in key areas. And from there, once they get good at accomplishing those goals and knocking them off, they can move into more advanced techniques. And in fact, what they find is oftentimes when they drill it down to three areas of life and set those goals in the three areas of life that I teach, they often level up faster, move faster and find that they don't have to have a whole list of goals in order to be successful. They just use that framework and once they cross the things off the list in that particular brainstorming goal setting session, they move on to the next thing. When you're looking at your goals, make sure that your goals contain a mix of different type of goals. Because I'm a personal mastery coach, I really love for my clients to make sure that they are including a mix of learning or mastery goals as well as performance goals. Performance goals are a little bit more discouraging for us when we don't accomplish those goals, but they are needed for us to get better and for us to excel. But we also need to remember that some of our goals are again, helping us master that bigger dream, helping us learn what's going to get us to that bigger dream, helping us drive and grow 
So it's going to propel us toward the things, the bigger things, the vision for ourselves that we want to manifest. So you should have a combination of learning goals or mastery goals, as well as performance goals. This is a big one right here. We've all done this. I know I've done this. You're trying to accomplish a goal and you meet up with a roadblock and you're like, oh my God, this ain't for me. I don't want to do this. I made a mistake, blah, 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 blah. Now, nine times out of 10, I might do that for a day or I might do that for a week but I don't like to let myself get stuck there. And it's because I have integrated things into my life that help me to overcome any setbacks or difficulties when they arise while I'm trying to reach a goal. Because you're gonna reach setbacks, you're going to have things maybe go as not planned, but because you are reflecting and you are intentional about the direction that you can go in and you have these coping skills that you have built into place in order to be able to deal with these setbacks, you're able to brush yourself off, get up and keep it moving. So make sure that when you are goal setting, you also have a contingency plan and coping mechanisms, coping skills, positive coping mechanisms built into your goal setting so that if you do experience something that you did not desire, you're able to quickly brush yourself off get back up and try again. The good thing about having a coach in your corner when it comes to these setbacks and these ups and downs is that you have somebody in your corner that can help you shake it off, that can help you realign, that can help you integrate these coping mechanisms that are positive, that'll help you move forward very positively. But if you do not have that person in your corner, then again, just make sure that you put these things into your goal setting system so that you don't experience setbacks that make you want to quit. So if you haven't heard, I've opened up the doors to my 12 week private coaching experience where I help you integrate the tools and the systems that you need to help you to start to get unstuck, help you leave the past in the past and really start to think about the future you really want to envision and not just think about it, but make it happen and create a system and a foundation upon which you can use to make it happen. In this 12 week experience, you will start to move past any blocks that you have. You'll start to move past even some of that confusion that you have when you know that you wanna move forward but you don't know a way around where you are right now and start to get some clarity, a sense of direction, a connection to purpose in life so that you are able to realize and actualize success in all areas of your life, your career, your relationships, your personal relationship with yourself, all of that is better once you have completed this 12 week coaching experience. I only have a limited number of slots available. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, you are welcome to DM me about it. You're also welcome to email me about it for this round integrated extended payment plan. So if that is something that you think will help you and make coaching more accessible to you, please feel free to ask me about it. I'm excited about trying, trying this out for the first time and see if it works. Um, but again, only a few slots available. So if you want one of those so that you can learn how to start to set goals and set strategies to help you accomplish these goals and stop setting goals for yourself and not really getting anywhere in life and you want Want me to help you do that then reach out i'm here for you and i'll talk to you in the next video